All right, guys, Warner and Weasel back today. We're at Aunt Granny's restaurant here in Dollywood to do dinner this season. They have actually changed their menu around some for the pumpkin luminites time here in the park. So guys, we have eaten here before. We've done a video here before and showed you guys what's on the menu, but they have changed it up a little bit. So I want to show you what's new on the menu for the fall. All right, guys, this is Aunt Granny's restaurant here in Dollywood. Like I said, they have actually changed up the menu from what I did back in 4th of July time for you guys. Uh, their main dishes, you can choose two. Um, those could be either herb roasted chicken, apple glazed ham, southern fried chicken, beef pot roast, or fried catfish. Uh, you can also get two different soups, creamy vegetable, homemade chili and also on your sides you choose four of the sides um, green beans sweet potato casserole buttered cabbage mac and cheese butter sage carrots corn pudding mashed potatoes and gravy uh, you get to choose one per person on desserts it is along with your meal you can get seasonal cobblers you can get assorted pies or cinnamon apples so guys this is at aunt granny's restaurant here in dollywood guys i will have some still shots put in of the menu for you guys but as i said your main dishes you're going to choose two or choose three actually you can choose three and you get four sides to choose and your choice of dessert with your meal per person at the table and you also get your soups guys so guys we're on a wait list we're waiting on going inside the restaurant and we will get back with you once we get inside and get some food ordered up and show you what we ordered so guys i hope you will enjoy come along with us at aunt granny's restaurant dollywood pigeon forge tennessee all right, guys, we are coming into Aunt Granny's restaurant here in Dollywood. So, guys, I was going to show you some food, like I said. And if we get seated, if we get some orders going, I'll tell you how it is. Guys, here at Aunt Granny's, when you come in and get seated and start your menu of what you're going to get for your food for the, your while you're here, you uh, while you're waiting on your food to be coming out, they will bring you out cheddar herb biscuits, kind of like they did at Red Lobster, but Red Lobster would never compare. So, guys, if you like the cheddar biscuits at Red Lobster, come to Dollywood, try out theirs. You will never go back to Red Lobster again. We're gonna get some food ordered and we will tell you what we got here in just in a few minutes. Right, guys, if you can see this whole spread of food here at Aunt Granny's in Dollywood for this evening's supper. Like I said, they changed a few of the items on the menu for the fall and the Oktoberfest, or not Oktoberfest, but the pumpkin luminites that's going on. So guys, I'm gonna tell you what we had or what we've got. Uh, main dishes, as you can see the menu, we've got the apple glazed ham which looks really good and we also got the beef pot roast we done the choose two instead of the choose three and we also got our four sides choose four uh, sweet potato casserole mashed potatoes and gravy mac and cheese corn pudding and also we got the soups which is the creamy vegetable. Guys, it's the same soup that you will get at Dixie Stampede when you go there that everybody enjoys so well before the show starts. So guys, we're gonna dig in here and tell you how it is in a few minutes. It all looks good. All right, guys, if you can see all this spread of food that we had, this is what is left. Uh, most of all the mashed potatoes is gone, the mac and cheese is pretty well gone, the sweet potato goo is pretty well gone, the corn pudding is pretty well gone, uh, my soup is gone other than a couple bites, 
the pot roast is actually gone. No, this is gone. That's actually gone for the vegetable soup. <laughs> or whatever, yeah. Uh, she absolutely loves the this creamy vegetable favorite. soup. There you go, baby. I'll take that whenever y'all are ready. Okay. And all the ham is gone as well. And guys, for what we got, the grand total is 35.20 with a gold season pass. Having the gold pass on the Dollywood season passes saves you 20% on all the restaurants and everything in the park. And they will refill all of this as many times as you want. Guys, all this is endless. Every bit of it. The ham, the pot roast, the soup, the, soup, the bread, uh, all the sides, everything is endless. You can sit here for three hours and eat if you want to, and they don't have a problem with it. And that is what the price would be, thirty-five twenty, as I told you. Regardless of what you eat for two of you, at most, you're probably, even for a size of family of probably six or eight, you're probably not going to pay more than 100 bucks with endless sides for hours. So, guys, it's well worth the money. Come and check them out. Food is always great. Staff is always great. And they do remember you. Yep, they sure do. So, guys, come and check them out. Aunt Granny's in Dollywood in Pigeon Fort San Jose. Guys, even if you just want to come in the park long enough to eat dinner or lunch when you come in town, if you have a season pass. Do a little shopping. Do a little bit of shopping. Come in for a couple hours, grab some food, grab some candy, whatever. Ride the train and head back out to town and enjoy your evening or enjoy your weekend or whichever way you may be doing. So, guys, if you like the vlog, also give it a thumbs up. Ring the bell. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Guys, we upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 a.m. live. So, guys, if you're new here, you will keep that in mind. Or if you are a all the timer, you know that for sure. So guys, this is the Wonder Weasel signing off from Aunt Granny's in Dollywood, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee.